So across the world, non-governmental organizations, NGOs, have been extremely important on the issue of climate change. They do a lot of things. They do the sort of political raising of the issue. So they're campaigners, as they're called in Europe. There's you know, Greenpeace and Sierra Club and all the other environmental groups as well that have started to push for climate change action at the level of the United Nations, national governments, and state and local governments. They've also done the work of trying to help communities prepare. So some groups have gone out and taught people about what the risks are that they face. They'd go out and do education seminars. One group at CARE um, uses games to teach people about the decision making that goes on uh, for adaptation to climate change. A lot of these groups have really gotten on board on climate change early because they see that their decades of work trying to help poor people in developing countries is being threatened by um, climate change. And that's also becoming true of development agencies from the wealthier countries. As they you know, continue to send foreign assistance, they realize, wait a minute, we've got to do a better job of this to make sure that our projects aren't wasted by building a road in the wrong place or planting crops and you know, supporting the planting of crops in places where they won't um, be able to grow under new weather scenarios. But then they're also seeing that they need to protect the, the investments they've made in the past.